So, here's a quick update on the death pile. On the left, we have a Bloomsbury set style painted chair. On top of that is a scalloped Art Deco mirror that I've sold to a customer on the south coast of England. Right next to it, we have a lovely cupboard, original iron mongery on the front, opens with a clasp. And inside, very nice set of drawers, little pull drawers. So this probably was a workshop rather than uh, for domestic use. Could well be shed built, judging by the iron mongery, it looks original to me. On top we have a Canadian, probably maple, log basket with a wicker log basket inside. Here we have a nice nursing chair. The wicker's in excellent condition. Collection of antique and vintage mirrors. Lovely solid pine, weighs a ton mirror on the front. Typical early 20th century beaded detail, bevel edged mirror, lay flat and other assorted mirrors stored ready for sale. Hidden over the back is a really interesting item. It's a bit in the shadows, I'm afraid, but it's a leather screen which is embossed with a forest design and a fantastic center piece that features a stag with a full set of antlers. Next to that collection you can just see of blue, huge blue metal letters. They're about three or four feet tall. Um, Got to find the right home for them. Then we have three lab tables, which are really nice. Collection of Remploy stools, ready for re-upholstery. The male mannequin is still here, complete with budgie smugglers. And hiding behind the male mannequin is a nice, if I can move it a bit, wireframe mannequin or dressmaker's form. On the left you can see a wonderful antique pine cupboard with shelving. Leaning against the wall we have a collection of frames which are going to be converted into blackboards. They sell quite well. There's four of those and they're big so they'd work well in a bistro bar or for domestic use in a man cave or wherever. Here we have a 1920s, 1930s dining table for restoration. Pretty grotty at the moment, but trust me, it'll come up a treat. And they do, they are starting to sell quite well again. Barley twist legs, typical of the 1920s or 1930s. Here we have a 1950s plan chest. I've actually got three of these, but the other two are hidden away and I can't get to them. So here's the one, and I'm thinking about restoring it, changing the handles, make them a little bit more appealing. They're a little bit functional at the moment. So these sell well to artists or as general storage. Plenty of space, too small, top drawers and three large drawers beneath. So that's a quick look at one of my death piles. There is another one which maybe I can show you um, but it's obviously shrunk down from when we last filmed it which was at the 
towards the beginning of lockdown and um, that's just as a result of sales I'm pleased to say so anyway hope you're well please like comment and subscribe and uh, see you soon